Hello and welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy this story. I'm going to try and upload a new story each day. The Forgotten Crypt Chapter 1 The Discovery Holly Arnold adjusted her hard hat, wiping the sweat from her brow. The sun beat down mercilessly on the Isle of Wight, the small island off the southern coast of England. Holly, an accomplished archaeologist, had always been drawn to the mysteries buried beneath the earth, but today felt different. The team had been excavating a newly discovered site rumored to hold artifacts from a long-forgotten civilization. Hey, Holly, come look at this, shouted Mark, one of her colleagues. Holly made her way over, navigating the uneven ground. Mark stood beside a large stone slab, partially uncovered by the team. It's incredible, Holly breathed, examining the intricate carvings that adorn this slab. They depicted strange, otherworldly scenes that sent a chill down her spine despite the heat. This must be the entrance to a crypt. Excitement buzzed through the team as they worked to clear the slab. Holly's mind raced with possibilities what treasures or secrets lay hidden below. Chapter 2 The Opening By late afternoon, they had fully exposed the entrance. It was a massive stone door, sealed shut for centuries. Holly couldn't shake the uneasy feeling gnawing at her. Still, the allure of discovery was too strong to resist. Ready to open it? Mark asked, his eyes gleaming with anticipation. Let's do it, Holly replied, forcing a smile. They positioned a winch and slowly began to lift the heavy door. As it creaked open, a blast of cold, musty air escaped, carrying with it the scent of decay and ancient earth. The darkness beyond was impenetrable, and Holly switched on her flashlight, the beam cutting through the gloom. The stairs led down into the crypt, the air growing colder with each step. Chapter 3 The Descent The team descended into the depths, their footsteps echoing off the stone walls. Holly's flashlight revealed carvings and artifacts lining the corridor of ancient relics untouched by time. Look at these, Mark said, pointing to a series of urns. They must have held the ashes of important figures, Holly nodded but her attention was drawn to a large stone sarcophagus at the end of the corridor. It was intricately carved, depicting scenes of rituals and sacrifices. A sense of dread settled over her as they approached it. Help me open it, Holly said, her voice barely above a whisper. They heaved the heavy lid off, revealing the remains of what appeared to be a high priest adorned in decayed robes and jewelry. As Holly's flashlight flickered, she noticed something else a small, ornate box clutched in the skeletal hands of the corpse. Chapter 4 The Awakening Against her better judgment, Holly reached for the box. As her fingers brushed it, a shock of cold surged through her and she snatched her hand back. Are you okay? Ma cast concern edged on his face. I'm fine, Holly lied, her heart pounding. She couldn't shake the feeling that they were being watched. Suddenly, the ground trembled, and a low, guttural growl echoed through the crypt. The temperature plummeted, and the lights flickered. We need to get out of here, Holly said urgently, but as they turned to leave, the entrance land shut with a deafening bang. Panic set in as they realized they were trapped. The growl grew louder, reverberating through the walls. Holly's flashlight flickered, then went out, plunging them into darkness. Chapter 5 The Whore Unleashed in the pitch-black crypt, Holly felt something brush past her. She fumbled for her flashlight, finally managing to turn it back on. The beam revealed Mark's terrified face, and behind him a shadowy figure loomed. Bonne! Holly screamed, but it was too late. The figure lunged, and Mark was yanked into the darkness, his screams echoing off the stone walls. Holly's heart raced as she stumbled through the crypt, desperate to find an escape. The malevolent presence was all around her, whispering in an ancient, guttural language. The wall seemed to close in, the air thick with a suffocating sense of dread. She found herself back at the sarcophagus, the ornate box still clutched in the skeletal hands. Driven by a desperate need to end the horror, Holly grabbed the box. It pulsed with an unnatural energy, and as she opened it, a blinding light filled the crypt. Chapter 6 The Price the light faded, and Holly found herself alone in the crypt. The malevolent presence was gone, but the silence was deafening. She collapsed to her knees, clutching the box. The entrance creaked open, and Holly stumbled out into the daylight, her mind reeling from the ordeal. 
the rest of the team was gone and the site was eerily quiet. In the days that followed, Holly tried to make sense of what had happened. She researched the ancient civilization, uncovering tales of a high priest who had made a pact with dark forces, sealing their power within the crypt. Holly knew she had released something ancient and evil, and the weight of that knowledge bore down on her. She couldn't shake the feeling that she was being watched, that the malevolent presence was still with her. Epilogue the Haunting Years passed, but Holly could never escape the shadow of the crypt. Strange occurrences followed her unexplained cold spots, whispers in the night, and fleeting glimpses of shadowy figures. She dedicated her life to researching ways to banish the evil she had unleashed, but the sense of dread never left her. One night, as she pored over ancient texts, she felt a chill in the air. The whispers grew louder, and a familiar, guttural growl echoed through the room. Holly knew the malevolent force had come for her at last. With a sense of resignation, she faced the darkness, the ornate box clutched in her hands. She had discovered the truth too late, some evil should never be disturbed, and some secrets are best left buried. The light flickered, and the shadows closed in, and Holly Arnold was never seen again. The forgotten crypt had claimed to another soul, and its malevolent secret remained hidden in the darkness, waiting for the next unwitting intruder. Chapter 7 The New Expedition Years passed, and the story of Holly Arnold and her team's mysterious disappearance became a whispered legend among archaeologists and locals alike. The site on the Isle of Wight was eventually deemed off-limits, a haunted place that no one dared to disturb. But legends have a way of enticing those who seek the unknown. Dr. James Hunter, a renowned archaeologist with a taste for the supernatural, had heard the tale of the forgotten crypt and felt an irresistible pull to uncover its secrets. Ignoring the warnings, he assembled a new team, determined to continue where Holly had left off. Dr. Hunter, are you sure about this? asked Sarah, his assistant, as they stood at the edge of the excavation site. The air was thick with unease, the ground still scarred from the previous dig. We're not here to disturb the past, Sarah Hunter replied, his eyes gleaming with determination. We're here to understand it. Chapter 8 The Unearthly Whispers The team set to work, carefully clearing away the overgrowth that had reclaimed the entrance to the crypt. Despite the daylight, an oppressive darkness seemed to cling to the sight, and a cold wind whispered through the trees, carrying with it unintelligible murmurs. As they uncovered the stone door, Sarah shivered. It feels like the temperature just dropped, she said, hugging herself. Hunter nodded, but pressed on, his curiosity outweighing his fear. They positioned the winch and began the arduous task of lifting the door once more. When it finally creaked open, a familiar blast of cold air hit them. Sarah hesitated, but Hunter forged ahead, his flashlight piercing the gloom as they descended the ancient stairs. Chapter 9 The Reawakened Presence the corridor seemed to pulse with an unearthly energy. The walls were lined with the same strange carvings, and the air was thick with the scent of decay. Hunter's flashlight flickered as they approached the sarcophagus. Look, Dr. Hunter, Sarah whispered, pointing at the skeletal remains. The box, it's gone, Hunter's heart raced. The box, the key to the malevolent force, was missing. He realized the implications that Holly had taken it with her. Stay close, he instructed the team, his voice sought with tension. We need to find out what happened here. As they explored deeper into the crypt, the air grew colder, and the whispers grew louder. Shadows danced at the edge of their vision, and an overwhelming sense of dread settled over them. Chapter 10 The Unseen Force Suddenly, a scream echoed through the crypt. The team turned to see one of their members, Thomas, being dragged into the darkness by an unseen force. Hunter and Sarah rushed to his aid, but he vanished into the shadows, his screams abruptly silenced. Panic erupted, and the team scattered, desperately searching for an exit. Hunter and Sarah found themselves alone, their flashlights flickering as they stumbled through the labyrinthine passages. Dr. Hunter, we need to get out of here. Sarah cried, her voice trembling with fear. Hunter nodded, but his resolve hardened. We can't leave without understanding what we're dealing with. We need to find Holly's notes. They retraced their steps, searching for any clues that might explain the crypt's malevolent power. In a hidden alcove, they found Holly's satchel covered in dust. Inside were her notes, detailing her final, 
desperate attempts to understand the evil she had unleashed. Chapter 11 The Final Confrontation As Hunter read through Holly's notes, a sense of foreboding settled over him. She had discovered that the high priest had bound a powerful entity to the crypt, an entity that fed on the souls of the living. The ornate box had been a containment vessel, and by opening it, Holly had released the entity. We need to find that box, Hunter said urgently. It's the only way to stop this. The whispers grew louder, and the shadows closed in. Hunter and Sarah moved quickly, following the clues in Holly's notes. They found a hidden passage leading to a small chamber, where the ornate box lay on a pedestal. As they approached, the air grew frigid, and the entity materialized before them a shifting, shadowy form with glowing red eyes. It whispered in an ancient, guttural language, its voice filled with malice. Stay back. Hunter shouted, but the entity lunged at them. In a desperate move, Sarah grabbed the box and opened it, releasing a blinding light. Chapter 12 The Sacrifice The entity screamed, a sound that echoed through the crypt and beyond. The light from the box enveloped it, pulling it back into its prison. Hunter and Sarah watched in awe and terror as the entity was drawn back into the ornate box, the whispers fading into silence. As the light dimmed, they realized the cost of their victory. The crypt began to collapse, the ancient stone walls crumbling around them. Juan! Hunter yelled, grabbing Sarah's hand. They sprinted through the collapsing passages, barely escaping as the crypt sealed itself once more, the entrance buried beneath tons of rubble. Epilogue of the Legacy Dr. James Hunter and Sarah emerged into the daylight, battered and exhausted, but alive. The sight was silent, the oppressive darkness lifted. They knew they had only temporarily sealed the evil, but the crypt was buried once more, secrets hidden from the world. In the years that followed, the story of the forgotten crypt became a cautionary tale among archaeologists. Hunter and Sarah dedicated their lives to studying and preventing such occurrences warning others of the dangers of disturbing ancient malevolent forces. But deep beneath the Isle of Wight, the crypt remained, a silent guardian of a dark secret, waiting for the next unwitting soul to uncover its forgotten horror. Thank you for listening, I hope you enjoyed this story. Please don't forget to like and even better like and subscribe. Thank you very much and I hope you have had or have a great day.